Hi, this is Roger from Agland Co-op, and I'm in a wheat field today, a winter wheat field. It is June 7th, and uh, it's starting to head. So next thing will be happening is it'll be pollinating, and be if you're going to treat for head scab, it'll be time for that. Uh, so I'm looking here, and I found one little area where there's lots of heads uh, just coming out. You don't have to go very far, and you can see that... Uh, there's not heading, but that's kind of the way wheat is, especially in our area. Uh, it's not uniform enough. So what I'm looking for is the pollen on these. And there's a little spot. Not a lot of a field is doing this, but a little spot right in here. Put my finger up there so you can see. Um, but there's just a little bit pollinating. So... Uh, if the whole field was doing this, it's almost too late. But uh, it's, the whole field isn't, and even in this group here, there's just the main stems are doing that. So um, this is Friday, so like Monday, you want to reevaluate, look again, make your decisions. Um, I don't see any rust in this. On these leaves, but uh, if there was a rust, your head scab treatment would also cure that. Um, look on the head blight prediction page. Uh, it was also in this email, or otherwise, it's just put in head scab prediction and in your browser, and that should come up. Um, but once it gets warmer and more humid, that's when head scab is more likely. And it's also more likely if you were on corn ground or wheat following wheat. So uh, those are some things to think about and look at and check. Here's another spot, not even. Um, so there's going to be lots of unevenness. That's just the way wheat is in our part of the country, especially after the winter that it had. So with that, this is Roger with Agland Co-op. And... Uh, by the time you see this, you should be checking your wheat. But this is one of the earlier fields I saw, so I stopped to take this video. Thanks.